What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to Space Engineers episode 11. We're back on our ship and last episode we worked on the booty of the ship and that's what I called it that because it does kind of look like a booty a little bit, right? So we determined that we wanted meteor, mm, meteor, meteor, meteor storm. Where is that? Okay, that doesn't look like well No, that doesn't look like it's going to do very much harm. We determined that these are going to be backup thrusters. The hydrogen ones, we're going to keep those for backup thrusters and we're going to have main thrusters which are going to be ion thrusters. So today I want to throw those babies on and uh, but there's also a couple things I want to do beforehand. Let's go fly over here because it has to do with our base. Oh, it's always a little bit of lag when the first of those meteors hits the ground. A little bit of impact lag, as I like to call it. So, uh, one of our people, actually, I think a couple of our people, have suggested that it would be easier for this ship to work, a, a little bit more efficient, if uh, instead of doing things the way we have them here, which is I, I, I go and mine things, and I place them inside these containers, and then I come back over here and I take them out and put them in here, we could instead have some sort of, uh, some sort of, uh, what's it called? A connector system whereby the ship will actually uh, connect to the base with its uh, client connector, I guess. And then the base would have another connector here, which the ship would connect to. And then the ship would that way unload all of its materials. So I think that's a really good idea and something that I hadn't. Well, I, I'd kind of thought of it while building the ship, but I didn't really want to do it because I didn't know that I've, I'd, I'd have so much. I didn't know if I'd, I've had. Oh my god, I can't talk. I didn't know if I'd have enough space for this. So, um, yeah, I think what we're going to do, trying to figure out how the best way to do this is. The best way for me, so someone suggested that I have a, a connector on the ground, like on the bottom of the ship, and then I land on like a connector that's in the base. But I don't like the look of that. I think that just looks a little weird. Also, uh, if I do that, most of our landing pad is going to be taken up by this connector. It'll be just be a big big fat connector in the middle and our ship would have to land on that so I, I just don't like the aesthetics of that so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these a little bit out so move you one that way move you one that way uh, we'll put a connect uh, a conveyor thing in the middle and then we'll put the connector attaching that so let's see if we can do that so let's uh, grab this let's go do we have a medium cargo container somewhere I believe there they are okay so we wanted to move it to the side one uh, and that's going to be hard. We need to place a a, a, a block here. Uh, we need steel plates. Okay, let's go grab some steel plates. We have a few, I think. I know we were running out last episode, so uh, hopefully we do have at least a few. There we go. So let's throw these right here. And then let's make our thingamajig that we're doing. So put that right there. That's what we wanted to do. And then let's do the same thing to the other one. Move it over one. So... We'll do the same thing with a block. So it's just like a temporary block right here. Just so that we can place it. Because sometimes you have to place in the middle of the uh, of the crosshair. So so like right here we can place, right here we can place. But if we wanted to place it right here, it'd be, we'd have a little bit of trouble. So place that one right there. Let's fill these in. There's that one. There's that one. Now we can place a connector. Uh, a conveyor between the two. So if I go to my conveyors, I've got... Uh, where are they? I thought they were right here somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so I can place one right there. What do I need? Interior plates? I think we have some of those as well. So let's just hop on over here and grab some interior plates. We have 15. I don't know if that's enough, but it'll at least be enough to place the thing. So we'll place that there. Let's see if that's enough. No, it's not enough. Dang. Do we have more? Hopefully we have more. Doesn't look like it. Do we have any iron left? I don't think we have any iron left. That's what I'm, I'm troubled with. Uh... Yeah, I don't see any more iron. Okay, so here's... Let me find the exact things that this thing needs. What do you need? Inter more interior plates, uh, c construction components, small steel tubes, motors, and more construction components. Okay, so maybe we can break some stuff down to, gra to get more iron. Let's grab the small steel tubes, the motors, the... Uh, I don't know if it needs computers. We'll grab them anyway. And we'll grab... Um, what else does it need? I don't remember. Let's go see. Ugh. There we go. Construction components, right. I think we have some of those. Yeah, we have a couple. It's not enough, though. Do we have any more down here? No, but we do have some on the ship, I think, don't we? Let's go fly over to the ship real quick. Just a quick little flight. To see if we have any of that stuff. And then after after this, we're going to have to go on an iron mission. But that's a good test of the system that we're making. Do you have any construction components? No, but you have interior plates, which I do need. So that is good. Okay. 
So it looks like we need construction components. Luckily, we can break down some steel plates, which we don't have very many of those, but we can if we need to. We can break those down. Um, you s okay, you're good on interior plates. Now you just need crap loads of construction components, it looks like. Okay, so let's go over here. We're going to go to the assembler, I think is what breaks things down. And we're going to hand it a production task to break down some steel plates. And we're going to stop that. There we go. So break down some steel plates. That's probably enough. And then make us a couple of construction components here. Nope, that wasn't enough. Okay, keep breaking those down. And we'll just we'll just make a couple of construction points. I don't know how many we need. Probably like 20 to 30. Okay, make us more of these. And that might be enough. Let's see. How do I grab you? There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Can I? There we go. Yeah, that's enough. I mean, it's it's at its functional level. It's not at its full level. So that's good. Let's make sure none of our stuff's getting hit. Um, those could potentially... No, wait, hang on. No, I don't think they're going to hit. We'll watch anyway. We'll see what happens. Oh, they're way farther than I thought they were. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So, oh, oh, a little bit of lag. Okay. So here we go. We have our conveyor junction done. Now what we need to do is we need to get a connector on this thing. So, uh, and keep in mind, we need two connectors. One on the ship and one on the uh, base as well. So, connector. Let's throw that down here, number seven. So, here we go. We'll throw that right there. And we'll also need one here somewhere. I mean, I could put it there, but that won't be able to connect, will it? What we'll need to do is stick it up there somewhere, I think. Oh, well, let's fill this one out. You still need construction components. Well, we've been, we've been making them over here, I think, so we might have a couple. Yeah, we have 30. Okay. There we go. That's made. Awesome. Now we need to find a way to make it so that the base can connect to it. So here's what we'll do. We'll take out this light here. Oops. And we will... Let's go to our conveyors. Let's go to 6. We're going to go up 1. And then we're going to go over with a 7. So like that. And then we're going to go to back to our connector, which is over here somewhere. And then we're going to place it right there. Just like that. So our ship will be able to back into that pretty much and then latch onto it. Okay, so you need construction components, construction components, and you need a lot of steel plates. I think we still have some more steel plates though, so that's all good. But it does seem like we need to disassemble a couple more steel plates here for make me a bunch more of those. And while you're doing that, let's go and see if we have any more steel plates. Hopefully we didn't deconstruct them all. I don't think we did. Okay. Stop doing that. And hand me your steel plates and construction components. I think that should be everything we need. Come on. Flying and, and building is a little bit sketchy sometimes. Okay, so that's done. That's done. All we need are steel plates and about 40 of them. So let's see if we can somehow get enough of that. Production. Uh, deconstruct me some... Don't deconstruct those. Deconstruct some computers. How about that? Because computers require... Yeah, yeah. Computers require that stuff. So we'll deconstruct a couple of computers. And then we should be able to make all the steel plates that we need. Here we go. Get make me some steel plates. Okay, here we go. It's been a bit, but uh, but we finally were able to grab enough stuff to build our connector. Or our co yeah, our connector. So there we go. We now have a connection from our ship to the base. Let's hop into our ship and see if it works. So hop in. Uh, we press P here. And what we have to do to get this to line up is we have to go up a little bit. And let's, let's actually turn around for this. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit... Oh, okay. It's inverted controls. Here we go. So we need to go to the side. Okay, this is painful. This way. All right, like this. We need to back up. We go down a little bit, and we have mm, crashed. We have crashed. That's what we did. Okay. There we go. Now we've made the connection right there. 
and I press P so the connectors are enabled. So now what I can do is I can go into my connector. Uh, where's my connector? There. So I can go to my connector. The orange stuff, by the way, is stuff that's on the uh, base. Whereas, cause, and I control it now because we're connected. But uh, but I go to the connector and I press. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I press. <laughs> there's something. There's some way. I think maybe stuff automatically. Or maybe I do throw out or collect all. I don't know. But some way things go from my ship to the base. So that's a really good suggestion. Thank you guys for making that because it'll make things a bit easier when we're trying to uh, to unload all of the stuff that we got from our mining expedition. Speaking of mining expedition, we have to go on a quick little one. So let's uh, let's unconnect here and we'll go on our little mining expedition. Uh, we only have nine minutes of fuel, but that's probably fine. Ship fuel low. Uh, yeah, I know ship fuel is low. It's probably fine, guys. We're probably not going to run into any problems on our way. So let's just go over there, grab some iron, and we'll be all set. Oh, how fun it is to mine iron with my with my cheetah colored thing. <laughs> Mining iron is so easy with this drill. It gives so much yield. I think that's what increases as you uh, level up your drill. So look how much iron I got just from that was a couple of seconds of mining. So easy to to go about doing that. Oh, we're just mining some iron. No problem. This is what we do all day because we're miners. Look how big this cave is, by the way. This is the iron cave that I've been going to for the last three or four different trips. And uh, it's definitely huge now. <laughs> We've... Wait, where's the opening? There's an opening somewhere. We've widened up the opening so we can just kind of, like, fly through it without worrying about crashing into the walls. So, and where's our ship? And we park our ship super close to the mining thing so we can just throw things in just like... Uh, not that. Just like this. And we can go down. See? And then all this iron we can just grab on the ground... That's why I really like this drill, is because what it does is it, it, I think the higher level drills increase the yield of the iron you get. So every time I go and grab a, an inventory load of iron, I can just come back and there's another inventory load lying on the ground. So, easy peasy. Throw this right there. Oh, we could probably drop our stone at this point. Let's just drop that, let it fall down. Alright, and oh, here's some actually as well. So more than an inventory full. So what I do is I just hold the click button to, to mine, and I spam F while I'm doing it as well to, to grab some of the iron that falls. And so naturally, I only grab about maybe a third of the iron that falls, but the other iron is placed on the ground. <coughs> the other iron place is placed on the ground right there, so then I can come back and grab it when I've uh, deposited my latest load of iron. Easy peasy. And you know, this actually does look more natural with a connector on the back, so thank you guys for that suggestion. It's going to make things a bit easier. No. Okay, I thought I'd just throw my drill out. <laughs> so another suggestion you guys made is why don't I just throw a... Uh, why don't I throw a drill on the end of this ship? Well, I'll show you why in a second. First of all, it can fit a drill. We can throw a drill right here or even two on the sides. So it can definitely uh, fit that. But let me throw my iron in and I'll show you why I don't put a drill on. The reason I don't put a drill on this ship is because look how exposed these engines are. And also... Uh, Keep in mind that, so so for the ship to go down and mine the iron here, it would have to go through a hole like this, right? Or it would have to mine down on its own, uh, which means using its drills. The only problem is that I, I have these two main thrusters uh, here to keep the ship upright, so that if it's floating upright, it'll be able to, to stay up, right, uh, against gravity. But if the ship turns upside down, for instance, there's no thrusters to be able to hold it upside down. And if it if it goes so that the back is on the ground, these won't be able to hold up the whole ship. So if I try to mine like straight down like that or straight up like that, uh, the ship won't be able to hold itself up, right? And especially as it starts to gain uh, materials from mining, which it does, it, it gains weight uh, from those materials, it's going to have an even harder time. So there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, mine with a ship on the ground here. Now, one idea I've, I've had uh, is, is I could throw a, a drill on the end of this thing, right? And then I could go mine rocks like this, which contain iron as well. So this one, I've already mined out a little bit of it. But, uh, but I could just mine out the whole rock. That's one idea that could work. But the only problem is that those rocks don't give that much iron, right? Uh, these caves give quite a bit more iron. See how this iron on the ground? Yeah, you wouldn't find all that in a rock. <laughs> So that's why I'm not putting a drill on the end of that thing. It, it just it just wouldn't work out very well. Now, when we get to the moon, which is our current uh, goal here, 
with the big ship. Our big ship's trying to get us to the moon uh, so that we can make like a little moon base. Once we get there, it's a different story because there's far less gravity, which means any ship that I make could uh, could potentially uh, hold itself up any which way when you're mining. So things would be a little bit easier once we're there. How far are we along? 23 out of 33? Okay. This is how mining works, by the way. It just it takes a long time to get a bunch of iron, but once you do it, it keeps you uh, set for quite a bit. So that's fine. Fine by me. It's time well spent. All right, here we go. We've got all of our iron. Uh, our ship's in a bit of a sorry situation here. Look, um, we have eight minutes of fuel. That should be perfectly fine, but our ship is going to keep telling us that we have ship fuel low. Six minutes of fuel. Yeah. Hopefully it just doesn't run out while we're going like full speed towards our base. But I think we'll be a-okay as long as we don't push it beyond its limit, like go up and forward at the same time. That would be bad. But I think we've got this. We're about to test out our connector for the first time ever. So let's let's get this thing going. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of interested in seeing how fast it works because this what we have currently, we have about twenty inventories, maybe twenty to thirty inventories worth of materials on board. Right, so with the old method, it would take me uh, 20 to 30 inventories to bring the stuff over to the base. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Where's our ship? Oh my god, oh my god. I, I, I panicked. I panicked and turned off my jetpack. That was stupid. Ah, uh, go back, go back, go back. Where's the ship? Ship, ship. Ah! Uh. <laughs> ship! Oh my god. Okay, so it's stationary. It, it was it was good. It was good. Okay, okay. Let's go down real quick. We're going to grab our body, which is over there somewhere. Let's go grab our body. Our ship fuel is fine. Look, we have five minutes of fuel, so that's okay. Body. <laughs> God dang it. What happened is I pressed F. F is right next to D, by the way. Uh, D is to go left or uh, right on the ship. So F is right next to D. I accidentally pressed it when trying to turn the ship a little bit, and uh, and it, it caused me to uh, fall out of the ship. I've done this before many times. Luckily, we had the inertia dampeners on. I've done it before without the inertia dampeners on, and the ship just crashes into the ground. It's horrible. Let's grab all of the stuff. Uh, throw this stuff out. Stop telling me the ship feels low. I'm not even in the ship. Okay, we have a minor drill somewhere. That d when we died, our minor drill fell as well. Uh, but it, it tells us where our body location is. It doesn't tell us where our minor drill is. Now, we're looking for one that's uh, leopard colored. I don't know if we're going to find it, but uh, but hopefully we do. Because that thing was expensive. Seriously, it costs a lot of platinum. I would really like to find that thing. Uh, but I don't know that we're going to, sadly. There's some gold in there that we could grab if we wanted to. Um... I don't know. That's the one thing is the 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 item that you have in your hand when you die. That thing goes flying. Like it's it, it doesn't stay with your body all the time. So um, it's not the best not the best system I think uh, for for getting your materials back. But it's how the game works. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna find that. I think we're gonna have to make another one. That's that sucks. Is that platinum? That might be platinum or, or silver. I'm not sure which. Um, one more quick look around, and we'll see if it's if it's here. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to grab this one. And that's going to fill up our inventory as well. Yeah. it's. I think it might be lost for good. And it's also possible that you guys are going to see it, but I'm going to miss it. <laughs> and by the time you guys point it out to me, it's going to be gone for good. Could have rolled down the mountain? Maybe? No, I'm not seeing the thing. That ship looks really cool in the background. Ow. <laughs> where did our ship body... Okay, our body landed right there. But that's not where our body fell, right? Our body fell over here somewhere. But it just doesn't tell me where the body fell. Because where the body fell is probably where the thing is. Sticking out of the ground or something like that. Would we even see it from this height? And it's... It's, <laughs> it's colored like a cheetah. So... It would blend in to this stuff. Yeah, whatever. We've lost it. It sucks, but uh, but it happens when you die. You lose stuff. So here we go. Let's try and get back. Our ship fuel is, is still uh, very low. 
How low is it? Ship oh. Fuel oh god, is it in is that in seconds? Okay, let's land this thing. I think oh three minutes. Okay, that's fine. We might be able to back this thing in. Ship fuel low. No 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. We almost crashed. Okay, forward a little bit. Down. Back out. Back it up. How are we aligned? Let's go down a little bit more. Okay. Ship fuel low. Looking good. Looking good. There's the connection. And we are connected. Awesome. No fuel. No fuel. Okay. <laughs> that was really that was really cutting it close there, I think. But uh, no but yeah, we should be connected now. So let's see if this stuff's getting pulled. I might have to actually do something before it gets pulled. So let me let me go check on that real quick. Uh, you go in here. Okay. So I want you. Let's go back in our cockpit here. I want you to uh, let's go to our connector. Throw out. I think is what we want to do, right? Yeah, let's try throw out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now we're throwing out. Uh, is there an influx of materials coming in? Let's look and see if our reactor is pulling things. Our refinery. It's not pulling things yet. Maybe I have to go to the other connector and tell it to do something. So let's... Uh, it doesn't look like we got hit there. So that's good. So let's hop in here real quick and tell our thing to... Okay, other connector, I want you to collect all. So you're not being collected, but maybe... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're out of hydrogen. Oh my god. <laughs> We're out of everything. Hydrogen! Easy as that. Let's hop over here real quick since we're here. And let's see, is this pulling? It's not pulling yet. Alright, what else do we have to do? Hop in here. Is our stuff turned off? Maybe our... Maybe our, No, our engines are running still. So... Okay, maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be on throw out. So throw out off. And the other one should be on collect all, so it collects everything. So collect all. On. On, yeah. Um... Now what? I don't know, uh, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know how to get this thing to start actually pulling the materials. Help! <laughs> Help me, what do I do? Let's try this again. Let's hop into this one right here. This is the main ship place. No station fuel. The station doesn't have fuel, that's fine. Actually, that's probably also bad, but whatever. Wait, everything's not turned off, is it? No. Our battery's still of life. Okay. No so, let's hop in here. We'll go to our connector. This one's the one on the little ship. So, it's not on throw out. Connector. Show block. Okay, hang on. Maybe if I give you some uranium. Do I have any uranium to spare? The refinery doesn't have anything. Jeez. Oh. Oh shoot. <laughs> Meteor storm inbound. When I when I told the connector to collect all, it literally collected everything, like from all this stuff. Okay, so what I need to do then is I need to go to this one. Let's hop. Let's hop over to this one right here. Let's tell it. Oops, we connect went to the wrong thing here. Hang on. Let's just go in the cockpit. Make things easier. It's just one meteor. Oh, okay. So let's go into the cockpit. What we're going to do is we're going to press K. We're going to go to our connector on the ship, and we're going to tell it to collect all. So that all the stuff in here goes to the connector. Right? I think that's how things work. So if I do that, then if I go in here, maybe if I go in this one? Because I think the connector acts as an inventory, doesn't it? So now if I go here, then can I go to the connector? Connector. Where's our where's our connector?
What are you pulling? Oh, you're collecting all of its stuff. No, stop. Stop collecting its stuff. Connector. Stop collect alling. So this connector right here was collecting all the stuff from the ship. From the base, which is not what I wanted it to do. Here's, a, here's the question. Okay, so can I go to my connector? And can I bring things from here into there? No, I can't. So are you guys not connected then? Is that the issue? They should be connected. Right. Okay, so what if I do... Okay, what if I press K and I go to our connector and do throw out? Is it going to start throwing stuff out? No, it's not. Collect all. Yeah, that's not collecting anything, because that's not connected to our containers for some reason. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're doing a little bit of fixing up. So we need this container to be connected to this container. So let's double check this connection here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our connectors, press 5 right here, uh, make sure these are connected. Maybe they have to be connected in the same way or something? There we go. Wait, hang on. So, hang on. Are you guys connected now? So if I go here, can I bring it to here? Yes, I can. So you guys are connected. What if I bring it the other way? So what if I go here? Five. Okay, if I put it like this, will you guys still be connected? Let's see. Yeah, you guys are connected. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Ship, ship, what are you doing? Ship just decided to stop moving, so that was weird. Or to start moving. Okay, so those guys are connected. Now we need our connector to be connected. So let's grab our connector. Seven, we'll throw it on here. Okay, it's got a connection there. Throw it right there. How do we not have the construction components required? What? Where's our construction components? Okay, now that is made. Can I bring things from here to here? Okay, so now it's working. Okay, so it wasn't connected. That's okay, that was the issue. So let's hop into here, back it up. All right, we're pretty much there, and I'm gonna go down a little bit. I need to go up a little bit. Back it up. We need to go a little bit to the this side. There we go. Now we have the connection. No fuel. So this should be starting to pull things now. So let's hop over here and check this out. Refinery. Yes, the refinery is starting to pull things. Awesome. Okay. My god, that was painful. <laughs> All that time, it was just because these weren't connected. So I don't have to have the connector set to collect everything. And I don't have to have this one set to collect everything either. Or throw out. So it's it's all good. Well, I, don't, I don't think this is set to throw out, right? Yeah, so the connection is all that's required. So, that's good. Jesus, that took forever. Okay, it's getting about night time, and we've pretty much wrapped up everything we're, we're going to do in this episode. I wanted to get some of the ship done, but, uh, but sadly it took us so long to figure out how to get that thing working over there that I think we're almost out of time. But before we go, I do want to uh, to mess with this a little bit. Um, just so that we can get some of this stuff moved into its more permanent locations over there. Now, one person did suggest... Okay, <laughs> I just fell down our little hole. One person did suggest, um, and I'm so bad with suggestions, I always forget who suggested, but uh, one person did suggest that I throw the hydrogen tanks on top of these thrusters. And that's actually not a bad idea, because one, two, three, that's the size of a hydrogen tank. So what we might do is precisely that. It might be easier to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... 
break these. Break this right here. Break this right here. And that's going to be where one hydrogen tank is going to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab this hydrogen tank right here. And we're going to place it on that area. Let me just grab this real quick. And let's see if we can grab this. Oh, our inventory is full. Okay. Well, can we at least put the startings of a hydrogen tank here? Do we have hydrogen tanks somewhere? Nine is where our hydrogen tank is. Oops. There we go. So let's place some stuff in there. Now we can go over and grab the last of the stuff from this hydrogen tank. And we can just throw it in this one right here. So this is going to be one hydrogen tank right here. And uh, is there st there's still this hole. So I'm going to have to like do something about that. So that we don't have a hole that we can fall into space from. But, uh, but that's going to be one hydrogen tank right there. We're going to have another one right there. And in case we need more than two. Which we might very well need more than two. Uh, we will put one on the front and on, on, on over there as well. So that's where our hydrogen tank's gonna go. Uh, we kind of have a template now. We know where that one is there. We know there will be one right there as well. What we might do as well, additionally, is we might have oxygen generators right here, which will lead up to there. So let me go to our oxygen generator, which is what we were using uh, a second ago. Oxygen generator. Or we'll place it like this. Let me make sure it's the in the orientation I want it to be in. I could put it like that. Let's see, hang on. If I put it like this, that has a connection to the, the hydrogen tank already. But then we can't access from the ground. Ah, whatever, we'll put it like that. Okay, so that'll, that'll be our O2 generator. So that should have a connection to that. Let's make sure though, real quick. Uh, let's press G, we'll go to character tools. We gotta grab our first level one drill here because we lost our level three, unfortunately. So let's hop down here and we're going to grab some some uh, ice. And all we're looking for, by the way, here, is we're looking to see if the ice is actually put in there. We're, we're seeing if the connection works. So let's check this. Put some ice in there. The ice is being made and you are being filled. Awesome. Okay, so that does work. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one of these for each hydrogen tank placed kind of next to it like that. And then probably what we're going to do is we're going to connect them up to each other. And then we'll connect them to our main chests as well up top like this in fact we could do it right here let's do it right here so let's go over here and get a connector actually we need to break this first so break that we'll get a connector right here so put one right there all right and now we need to do the same thing but with a a uh, one that goes down awesome so now that's connected so if we have ice in this one right here it will then be brought over to, uh, well, theoretically. I mean, it's, it's not yet connected. That will be connected there. Uh, we'll just do a little bit of this, then this, then this, and that'll connect up. So connect that, connect that, and connect that. We don't have enough stuff for that, but that's the connection that we're looking for there. So uh, that's how that's going to work. And we'll have one of those on each thing. So, um, so you'll be able to just stick ice in the storage chest, and it'll be good. Uh, we also want to make a connection to our... Um, this right here this thing right here the reactor I still haven't decided where exactly I want to put that but what I have decided is I want to move this all up one I think so it'll be a little bit higher it'll be closer to the ceiling as well but we'll be able to place uh, three high things over here so that'll be definitely good but I don't think we're gonna do that right now since that thinks I think that'll take a little while but uh, but that's this is the state of the ship actually you know what here we go we can break a lot of this stuff off that's all gonna fall. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, shoot. I accidentally grabbed some of that. Okay, whatever. I'll just throw it in here. Uh, yeah, throw all this stuff. Let's go grab some more. And this will allow us to uh, complete the other one. Awesome. No. <sighs> I can't believe we died again. That's now connected. Sweet. So if you throw ice in there, then it'll go into there. Awesome. Well, I think that's where we're going to end the episode because we've died twice already. It took us so long to get that stuff set up over there, but uh, but we finally got it set up. So hopefully that'll help us in our uh, in our mining trips so we don't have to make as many trips uh, back and from the ship to the refinery. So that's awesome. The ship is coming along, uh, although we didn't work on any of the hull this time like I wanted to. Uh, we still we still got a pretty nice ship that looks like it's going places 
Well, not literally, but figuratively. I'm going to almost still place for that still. Well, if you guys like the episode, hit that like button. Put your comments down below and your suggestions definitely for the ship as well. I do read those and I do follow them, as you saw, with the, um, with the connect connector one. So, see you guys in episode number 12.